As you can see, this clip starts off with a buck laying down right in front of the camera. This looks to be about a three and a half year old buck and he's pretty cool. If you notice, he's actually got kind of a third beam coming off his left side here. You can see there in the background, there's a primary scrape and this deer has made himself a home right by it. It's late October. We're transitioning now from the pre-rut into the rut and bucks are really trying to establish that pecking order. Another buck enters from the left side of the screen and you can tell completely different attitude and mindset than the buck that's already laying down. He's stiff legged, his hair is standing up, his ears are pinned back, he's posturing at this buck and he's showing off that, hey, I'm more dominant than you. Now in all reality, this buck is probably three and a half years old too. They're kind of the same age, but definitely different characters and different personalities. This time of year in the Midwest, breeding season is kicking in. These bucks are trying to figure out who's the dominant buck, where am I gonna find that doe, when's she gonna come into heat, and who's gonna get a crack at her. The third beam buck, he stands up and starts to work off, almost conceding to the buck that just entered. As he walks off, pay attention. Here's another really cool vocalization. He lets out a big snort wheeze and shows an extra sign of true aggression. This deer's ticked off. You can see the two different demeanors from these bucks. You know, one's in the background, he's working that scrape, he's using the licking branch. You know, he's fired up, he's marking his territory. He's pawing at the ground. The other buck in the front, you know, more passive at this point. He's just kind of feeding, he's worked away from that scrape. He's really just given that territory to the buck in the back. This series of clips is really cool for a few different reasons. We're really seeing how these bucks as the rut approaches, start to establish that pecking order. Again, you have two deer around the same age class. One's kind of super aggressive, the other one's more passive. If you spend enough time in the woods, you're gonna see interactions like this, and you're gonna see interactions between different age structures of bucks, and just different bucks with different personalities and different characters. You'll see this interaction is all happening right at a primary scrape, and it's definitely a good location to be to see big bucks interacting this time of year during the rut. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this buck nugget, make sure you hit the like button, subscribe, and ring that bell for notifications.